Okay. And we're back. No, I started recording again. No, I said okay because I started recording again. No, but hey, babe. Hi, my love. I'm great. I love you too. But uh, back to the Renogy 3000 watt inverter charger. I am over here using my multi-tool, my SOG. I think I have it the right way now. There we go. Uh, my SOG Q3, which is still an amazing multi-tool. And this is not only, uh, well, it's going to go in tandem with my 2000 watt, which is over here. My 2000 watt. You can only see 20. But if I move this, hey, it says 2000 watts. But this 3000 watt inverter, like I said, the main reason why I purchased it was to replace my NoCo Genius, uh, NoCo Genius 10, which has been an amazing charger, but 10 amps versus the potential of 75 amps, which I believe I'm gonna try it out around 40 amps and see how that does with the batteries. But time will tell. I'm over here taking out all of these screws because they keep this thing locked up nice and tight. Gonna get it open, get some wires connected, get this thing over inside there and see what we got. Well, I stopped by Hall's Electric once I got back into town and had him, uh, had him make me up some four gauge wires. Uh, three feet of them so it could connect to any of the batteries I have in my my system right now and once I build it up bigger these should work I was going to go with double zero but I don't think that uh, the system is going to pull or push that much uh, that much energy but time will tell I'm going to start off with these four gauge connected right there and then directly to the battery and see what we got oh also i gotta cut off well not that end i have to cut off that end and that's going to wire up uh so when i hook it up to my generator that will charge up the batteries so i'm going to get everything together and go from there now as you see i try to use what i keep on me my current multi-tool at the time and my knife which cut the wire now to get in here with my multi-tool to slice each lead but remember what I told you when you cut with these this likes to slide in then you can't get a full cut so have to get it to where I want it, pull the handles back to be able to cut. Can't push up into it or else they'll slide up. And now for the last one. And now that end is gone. Well, could use this or could you just use a knife that's on the um, on the multi tool to finish stripping some more of the sheathing. Make sure I don't nick the wire any. Doing good so far. Wonders who, whose dogs those are barking in the distance, because it doesn't sound like any of mine. A little bit more. This reminds me of my days when I worked for the telephone company back in New Jersey, when it's Bell Atlantic or uh, when it merged with GTE to make Verizon. And when I would lose tools because I didn't want to do any paperwork, 
I would just use what I had on me to get everything done. And then I was one of the top technicians in the state. All the customers loved me because I was wearing a cowboy hat in New Jersey and a leather trench coat. I guess I was scary at first, but then they just embraced it because of the work I did. I used to fish walls and do all of that stuff. But now living completely off grid, trying to get every all the power stuff set up getting us ready for the winter got the mini split installed needed this uh inverter charger to be able to charge up the batteries quickly a lot faster than this would do this takes maybe like two days of running a generator with this inverter charger it should take an hour two hours to get the batteries back to 100 percent. that's what i'm looking forward to